Adobe XD just got updated, so today we're going to cover the October 2020 update for Adobe XD. As I make a lot of Adobe XD related content here on the channel, I like to make these videos to cover all the new features so no one misses out on anything. Let's go ahead and dive right into this month's update. Starting off this month, the first new feature we have is 3D Transforms. With this, you can select an element or a group of elements, and here in the Property Inspector, you can select the cube to turn on 3D Transform. From here, you can now adjust the X, Y, and the Z rotation, or you can also do that with the handles here that they have, and you can see we can rotate this card, changing it in a 3D perspective. You can also turn this on by selecting an element and hitting Command T or Control T on your keyboard to activate 3D Transform. So a pretty awesome new feature. Be on the lookout for 3D Transform tutorials here on my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. Up next, the co-editing feature is no longer in beta. So that has now been fully released. And so if you're collaborating in real time together, it should overall be a pretty great experience. Next up, we have auto height text, and this is going to allow text layer content to automatically adjust the height while the width remains fixed. So here I have this element selected. I'm going to go over here and set on the auto height. And as I'm typing in this text box now, it's going to scale the height automatically to fit the content where the width stays exactly the same. We also have auto width, so that's going to do the opposite. It's going to scale the width while keeping the height the same and then you have the fixed option like always which is going to have it as a fixed size where you can adjust the box manually like so the next new feature we have is nested components so i have two components here for simplicity i just have them as these squares i have a black square and a blue square and you can see here in my components i have two components so i want to nest this black one inside of the blue one so i'm just going to cut that with command x double click inside of the component and Command V to paste that inside. So now we have the main component pasted as an instance. So now I have another instance. So if I come in here and I adjust this, you notice that any changes I make to the nested component will automatically update to the other instances of the outer component. So now we can nest components inside of each other. And speaking of components, the next new feature is component states in design specs. So here I have this very simple flow and on this artboard, I have this card that has a hover state and a default state. I went ahead and shared this for development. So if I go ahead and open up this link here in the design specs in the browser, if I select the element, I can see the default state and the hover state and see all of the CSS code and everything I need for development related to each one of these states. And the last update to Adobe XD for this month is enhanced Creative Cloud library integration. So now we have libraries up top and we have the documents assets. So if you click this, this works exactly how the assets panel used to work. You can add your colors, character styles, and components for this exact Adobe XD file. But you also now have access to other libraries. So here I have my own brand. There's this Google one. If I select this, you have different colors, graphics, character styles, everything that you've added for that library is now accessible here. So I'm going to select this color and I'm going to go ahead and add that as a film color to this library. So now you can work better with your Creative Cloud libraries in Adobe XD. That's going to do it for this month's Adobe XD update for October 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content here on the channel. More videos are on the way. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.